It's been far too long since I've been out for a camping trip. So tonight headed out to the Oregon coast and just ready to do some relaxing and spend some time out in nature. I was just driving by this day use area out in Tillamook State Forest. The sun is out, it's a beautiful day, and I had to stop. When I stopped at the day use area in Tillamook State Forest, I found out I had forgotten my FPV drones. I was really hoping to do some filming, but the weather was so nice, I was determined to enjoy the trip with drones or without. Quick stop at Safeway, and then time to head out to the campsite. At this point in the trip, I really had no idea of where I wanted to spend the night. There were lots of amazing campsites around, but I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could find somewhere that was either free or really cheap. So I'm just exploring the Cape Lookout State Park right now. I've never been here before and it is just gorgeous. I was looking on Google Maps and I found this area uh, just a little bit south of here, but it looks like it might be a dispersed camping area or a road with dispersed camping. I really have no idea, but I'm intrigued. I'm always looking for free campsites and it's not the easiest to find them out here on the Oregon coast. So uh, I might go head down there and give it a look. So I checked out some of the dispersed camping. It looks like you can camp on the beach, but you need an ATV permit and one of those orange flags to go above your car. I'm gonna drive back, there's no service out here, and see if I can find a spot where I could pick up a flag. It would be really cool if I could camp on the beach. All right, so I just got the ATV permit and one of the flags. I'm gonna get that stuff set up uh, and then I think we should be good to head out on the sand. Four wheel drive, and let's go. This is crazy. Okay, it's pretty quiet out here, honestly, but uh, yeah, I just do not know if you can camp, if you can't, where you could camp if you can, I don't know. All right guys, so this is what I'm going off of. So I there's this app I use all the time for camping spots called iOverlander. People can post different sites where they spent the night. Not all of them are technically like legal or allowed, but it's great because sometimes you can find a spot and uh, you can see that like 10 other people have commented there and said like, oh, it's a great spot to spend the night and stuff. It's called iOverlander and anyway, there's a pin uh, drops for like this OHV area that I'm at and a couple people have all said that they spent the night out here dispersed camping. They just had the ATV permit and the flag just like I do. We are in the OHV area. Uh, I think the boundary is just like a couple hundred yards that way. So we're kind of close to the edge. So I feel like we're out of the way of people driving and stuff. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I think I think this is where I'll try and spend the night. Now the one downside to this spot, even though it is right on the beach, right by the water, it is an OHV area, so there are ATVs. This is a space for them to uh, have fun and mess around in the sand. It definitely might be a little bit louder. Uh, I personally don't mind. It's cool to see people out here having fun and ripping around. I think it, the date use does close at like 10 p.m. anyway, so it's really not that late. Uh, but if you are looking for a spot to camp on the beach, and want it to be super quiet and peaceful, this probably isn't the spot. But after 10 p.m. and all through the night, uh, I'll have the windows down and should just be the sound of the waves. I don't really have any more plans for the night besides sitting here and just enjoying this. All 
Okay, so this is kind of crazy, but I kind of just got pulled over. I mean, I technically, I technically wasn't driving or anything, but uh, but basically, a state trooper uh, who was out just patrolling the beach came up to me. He told me the reason that he approached me was that my vehicle, uh, the Sequoia, didn't have a front plate. Uh, which that's true, it doesn't. Uh, I had taken it off because I have a light bar mounted right down below where the plate is. Um, and I just had taken it off for like back road driving and stuff when I was using the light bar so it wasn't blocked. But he told me that in Oregon, like uh, you have to have two, two plates front and back, um, which is, I mean, I get that. I told him I had the plate and I explained why, why I had taken it off and stuff. And he was super awesome about it. He was like, oh yeah, no worries. Like, I'm not gonna give you a ticket or anything, just a warning, just go ahead and put it back on and everything will be good. And, I mean, the dude was just awesome. Like he stopped and uh, was just chatting with me for a bit. He also wanted to check to make sure I had my ATV permit flag, all of the stuff you need to drive out here. And after we had kind of finished talking and he had done his checks, I was just asking him, cause I was curious uh, what the camping rules were out here. Cause I know I had, expressed earlier i know i had expressed earlier that i wasn't exactly sure and he said that anywhere in this area uh he said you could go up on the hillsides over there kind of closer to the tree line you could go down right by the ocean camp like beachfront he said anywhere in the ohv area is allowed for dispersed camping when i finished up my chat with the officer the sun had already dipped down below the horizon i got started on some dinner watch the last light fade away and the stars come out. I woke up in the morning to orange and pink colors painted across the skies. Within five to 10 minutes, it was back to typical Oregon coast weather. The clouds rolled in and it started to rain. Before heading home, I wanted to stop at one more nearby beach. I get lost looking in your eyes. A little shook up at the side of you It gets me every time And when I'm swimming against the tide So I drove to Oceanside. The tides are extremely high right now. There's like almost no beach. I was thinking of walking down the beach, but I don't think I am. It's raining and don't want to get stuck out there. I'm on the drive home right now and there is some unexpected snow. This trip definitely did not go as planned. Because I forgot my drones, I decided to spend a lot more time exploring new places. This led me right to a beautiful dispersed camping site right along the beach. As one of my favorite photographers, Chris Burkhardt says, remember to leave room for the unexpected. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you could like and subscribe, it really helps me out and allows me to keep creating this content for you. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one.